This is something really special because up until 1948, Takahi was thought to be completely extinct like the moa. Now, 60 years on, some Takahi are living out here on Mana Island and it's a refuge for them. Sue's the resident ranger here on Mana Island. Sue, why don't you tell me a little bit about these Takahi? How long have they been here? Um, the first Takahe were introduced to Mana in 1988. To the ordinary person though, they do look a little bit like a Pukeko. What are some of the differences between the two species? Well, with the Takahe, they've got this beautiful plumage, nice violet green colour. Uh, Pukeko are a lot darker, a browny sort of blue colour. Um, they're quite a bit bigger than Pukeko. Um, they're flightless, of course, even though they have wings, Takahe don't fly at all. They've got an unusual call that they make to a booming noise. The weka and Takahe um, belong to the same family. And when they're a bit concerned that somebody's in their patch, they make a sort, a sort of noise that sounds a bit like water pouring out of a jug, so it kind of goes, <laughs> kind of like that. <laughs> Why do Takahi have to live on um, predator-free islands? Um, on the mainland, obviously, there's lots of pests like stoats, and um, they have a big effect on Takahi, being ground-nesting birds and being flightless. Uh, a lot of their young would be wiped out by stoats in particular. What sort of things do you have to do here on Mana to look after them? Um, we monitor them um, most months. We're out there doing a roll call, and then when it comes to the breeding season in October, we um, start nest monitoring and just to make sure that the breeding pairs are all doing their thing and producing how, offspring. How do you monitor them? Because obviously it's quite scrubby here. How do you keep an eye on them? Um, we've got um, a receiver and an aerial and we've got transmitters on seven of the females. We use the aerial and this receiver here for tracking the takahe. We have 40 takahe here and um, of those there's seven which we have transmitters on and they're picked up by this um, and the earphones plug in, the aerial plugs in there and I can also pick up the colour bands with the binoculars. And so keep an eye on them. Yeah. And they're really lucky out here at Mana Island. As Sue said, they've got 40 takahe. That's one tenth of the population of the entire world. Do you ever have any trouble with them being too related? Um, yes, because there's such a small population of Takahe left, I think there's only about 300 birds, birds maybe a little bit less. Um, there's a bit of a problem with the gene pool being so small, so we're trying to mix things up a bit by doing translocations to other islands and we receive birds from places like Turi and Maud Island as well. So they get to have a bit of a swap around. Yeah. Well look, it's just been lovely. It's been incredibly special for me to see these birds. I've only ever seen them once before and it's so nice to see them nice and close. You really get a sense of how big they are. So thank you so much. Wow, how awesome was that? I am absolutely buzzing because not only did I get to see one, but I got to see three Takahi, which up until 60 years ago were considered extinct. Talk about an opportunity to meet the locals. Cause if you really wanna feed, close your eyes and open your heart. Catch the fire burning.